Oh, I remember that. Man, it's, it's a bit hard playing in there. Or is it my brightness? There is a fucking strange reflection on the screen in my lap. God damn it, it's dark. Where am I? What am I doing? Where was I? Dear God, I can't remember, I forgot. I report the camp's destruction to Bernard. To overload it to fast travel. Like, come on. Oof. Bye, torch. There is no option to lock the this.
Well, you search me. Why? Be quick about. Why? Orders of his lordship. Get out of my way. What's that to do with me? Don't you know who I am? Like hell. I can't believe them. I can't fucking believe these idiots. I the kuto on back book most back book. Freaking torch. And any penalties for this? I'm facing a fucking fine. Interesting. What interesting. here. What do you want? I'd like to see Uh-huh. And what <coughs> we're gonna get a shape. <coughs> Dignitary Troubadour, Bohemian Duke, Woodsman Pride, 
casual elegance. Woodman's pride. The rather up. No. I thought Woodman's beard should be like this, you know. Yurian, hello. Casual elegance. Nothing changed. Uh, no deal. Bohemian Duke. Get the fuck out, you look like a goat. No deal. Troubadour. Actually, Henry, Henry is ugly as fuck. This might be even good for him. Okay. Like Thank you. It covers his red face. No. Money first, though. Fifteen. Hello. Not giving you that much. And how much are you? What do you say to this? It'll take more than that to persuade me. You won't regret. What else is there? Haircut. I'm interested in your. Uh huh. And what? Get a haircut. Mother's boy. <laughs> a mother's boy haircut. What the fuck gave the day for the Battlefield perm? Why did they make Henry like this? He looks like a fucking no. idiot no matter what you do. Even bald, he looks like an idiot. Eastern influence. It looks like a Hungarian gun, brother. Polish undercut. This is the ugliest main protagonist I ever seen in my life. To be honest. No, I just started, Robby. I just started. Holy shit, yeah, you're like bold. That. But of course, money first. Yeah, money first. Here we go. I'm not giving you that. And how much are? God damn it, Henry! You're so fucking up. You, you won't regret. Alright. What am I supposed to do? Where am I supposed to go? I could report. So let's bloody do that. Yeah. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I know. You never played it before, did you? Turn left, shit. Okay, I'll go through here. Hey, you! Don't move a muscle. <laughs> Is that the best you can do? Surrender! Uh, You've committed a uh, violation. You're under arrest. I'll you straight to Yeah. 
Hey, you! Halt! Surrender! Right. No one is allowed to creep around here without a light after dark. You were seen doing it, and you'll pay for it. Well, you won't forget this in a hurry, because it'll What's take that? a nice pie. Ten groschen. I've been given a secret desk. No, you're making a serious mistake. If only you knew. You think I'm so stupid as to fall for such? Oh well. well. You paid for your crimes. I hope you. Have you fucking pay? Yeah. We're going outside without a torch. Yeah. Where's Bernard? Don't tell me you're the arena. I think he still sleeps. Good health to you. Take care of the camp. Where's the proof? Here it is. Oh, that is a nice bit of news. And that's not all. There's some trouble on the road to Sassau. There's most likely another camp thereabouts. Understood. See you later. Have you paid thing, K? I have some, uh, let's see. Bastards deserved it. Good luck then. Man, it's a bit unrealistic. Uh, you get 140 groschen? For four years? That would be four bandits. And when you clear a bandit camp as the main mission, you get only 100 groschen. Let's see if I can enlist for a turning. I would love to play that. God bless you. I want to enroll in the turning. I'd like to enroll in the. You'll have to wait a few days until Sahanish announces another one. Uh huh. Come then, and I'll gladly. And when will I know when it happens? Take care. Should I go back all the way to Scarlet's? <clears throat> Let's put our armor quickly. Yeah. Armor and weapons. Oh. I can hear. Freshly shorn. Charisma is temporarily increased by the one. Charisma from Dome yeah. 2, and I still fail in conversation with guards. Funny. Fuck one will you open? Is it open? The day before the tournament happens, sorry.
Hi guys, thanks Swerg. One day, hello. And thanks by the way, Dante. Thanks for posting, Rabbi. Uh, about repairs. Let's have a word about the... Well... Agree? Well, now... That's a somewhat... <laughs> Alright, um... Should we go all the way back to Skullets? What is here, by the way? And I don't want to have the city of it first. What have I done? Such are my orders. From why? Do I look like someone you need to search? Don't get all high and mighty with me. You're just making it harder on yourself. As you wish. What the fuck is this? All these things are stolen. You'll be leaving that here, got it, laddie? Now you can enter. Hope that shit won't happen now. Yeah, back in the time, it was like Witcher was four years ago. Good health to you. Good luck to you. <coughs> I mean, it's still a good game to play. Let's have a word about the...
area. That's a little trouble. Milanese Kirais. It's all weapons to put in the armor. Can get a bit more. Why not? 
Since it's you. That's better. Drop it. I knew we'd come. Where's the weapon smith? To drag my ass over there. Greetings, good night. How may I serve you? Can I repair my work? That's the best I'm with you. The most expensive thing he's got is ceremonial mace. Cannot sword. A long sword. Minimum strength is 10. Alright. Alright. Uh, first so. Now we'll see what to do. I'd like to discuss the price. Why not? Satisfied? I'd almost check. Well, oh, that's a right. Oops. Weapon spit. Armor. Scribe, Trader, Butcher, Greenstone, Teller, Cobbler. I should check the Cobbler. Check the Trader too. Rates, spades, forks, and axes. All you need to tame Mother Nate. Yeah, yeah. God's blood. That is the most expensive thing you got. Killed in brown jacket. Equipped with fancy buttons. Let's say I wanna buy that. Oh, let's sell. What's a strip die? They can strip more than one maiden. Check the best kit. Let's talk about Sure, why not? Come on. Agree? Close.
that would be it. Let's throw everything to horse. Now what I wanna check, this shit over here, I'm feeling as good as new, well, I'm glad to hear it. Here you are. Thank you. I'm glad to see you're a man of honor. Is there anything else I can do for you? What can you teach me? I'll keep Would you teach me more? Certainly. Beginner. I'd like to practice. All right. But Here go. Isn't that what? Really? That's not it. Agree. Good day to you. Can we go Would another one? Or yes. I doubt. I'm interested in more. Wouldn't you rather? Look? Of course. Well, uh, trade. Box, box, recipes, potions, belladonna. One million flowers and plants. All right. Uh, who else is in town? Alchemy bench. Taylor. What's with a Taylor? Greetings, good. We can repair. What? I'm wearing all of this, select all. Here go. Can we do s well we can Come on. Satisfied? Come now, just What do you sell? Two point five K brocade outer jacket. Yet. And zero defense and all this shit. So stresses. Can you teach me anything or not? No. Alright. Next, till I'm done with the entire city, it's gonna be soon. There's another trader here, baker, tavern, groceries, butcher, tavern, cobbler. Want to check cobbler? Where is the other trader? That one. God be with you. You're looking for a cook. The bailiff sent me. That's right. I'm searching <coughs> for a good cook. 
But I, well, I offered the bailiff my help because I know the scallops. Ah, I see. Do you have any particular requirements for the new cook? Well, it would be an advantage if she knew how to cook. Well, yes, but the bailiff said you had other conditions. Well, I want a woman who's capable of looking after the house when I'm away on business. Young? Nimble? What for? I want her to impress people with her food, not her face. I understand. Sorry. I also heard there are vacant carrier jobs. Yes, yes. I'm surprised it hasn't occurred to anyone sooner. It will certainly benefit the city if the burgers don't have to send their own servants. It will benefit my people as well. Of course, of course. It... I also heard that you need workers to carry, uh, to empty latrines. It's not dignified to talk of such manners. That's not a concern for decent people. But I need to know. Enough. I won't have such talk in my home. Farewell. Why, you don't want to talk about shit inside of your home? I don't get it. Brown jacket. Here, closing his diet. All right. Uh, what's left? The shit cobbler. Let's see what cobbler offers. Yeah. Noble dark shoes boost everything there is, but they're so freaking expensive. Steal everything there is. Black plates. Can't carry it out, you also Just fucking impossible. You will level it. Gonna check that for a long time. Carry 15 pounds more. Nothing to think about. Carry 15 pounds more. Agility. I'm not gonna wait for agility. Defense. Your armor makes 30% more frightening impression in dialogues. Golem, yes. Skills. 
heavy duty pony or race horse. Horse can carry more, but it's slower. Horse is faster, but carries less weight. Uh, faster, but carries less weight, and then I buy those horse bags, four of them. I think that's the way to go. Race horse. Pickpocket, comrade. Increase your chance of pickpocketing someone with the same charisma level as you have. When looting corpses, you'll find more money. Ugh. Stealth. Daring Debonair. After committing a crime, you get plus one bonus on strength and vitality until you're caught or leave the scene of crime. You move almost silently in the rain. The noise of your footsteps is reduced by 70%. Yeah. This is it. All I got is agility and I'm waiting for level 8. Level 6 now. Once I'm level 8 I can spend 2 points. And higher skills. Uh, map. What I would like to do right now. would like to do is buy a freaking horse. Let's travel. Yeah, yeah. What can you teach me? Horse riding. I'd like you to show me. Certainly. Yeah. I'd like to practice. All right. Nice. Isn't that quite? What about? That's not in. Agreed. What do they do if they 2.7k? Not only will improve horse control, but also increase charisma. Settle back on a horse. I need to buy a horse first for a settle back. I think it's because of my horse. It could be because of the horse. What if I say I want to buy a horse? How much is a horse? I'd like to buy a horse. I'm glad to hear it. We're badly in need of self. Have you looked them over? Not yet. Not yet. Then go and have a look in the stables, so you know what you're buying. Take care. Really? Hey! Fuck off.
Man, you don't have shit. I want to see the prices for those horses. For an earthy shit now. Have you dropped in the well? What the fuck? Can they want to talk? Let me see the places. I'm glad to hear it. Have you looked them over? I have. I have. The best there are. Is there one in particular? One, four, five. Al Burak, tier five. How much is it? A wonderful Arab stallion, heavenly. When you look into those eyes of his, you. Oh. Ooh. What about a trade? Surely you'll knock something off the price if I trade. Here go, maybe something. Maybe some other. Hmm. Need a lot of coin for this shit. I'd like you to show. Certainly. I'm interested in. All right. But it'll... Here go. Isn't that? Is this enough? You won't convince me with that. Agreed. Settle one point three K. No, we'll settle with settle back. No, we'll settle with you with four five settle. With four settle backs. I'll buy this one for now. Buy this. I can equip this on a horse. I really hope so. I'd like to discuss. Well, what? I'd almost. Very well. Can we equip that or not? Player Sidekick Settle Hundred ninety seven point six with four settlements. That's it. <coughs> Sell this. <coughs> God. Complicated way too fucking much with this. It takes forever to sell something.
Where's my horse? Ah, oh, there you are. Rebels. Yeah. Where am I off to? Go for the main quest in Ujits. Find a new home bandit in Ujits. Let's go to Ujits. I think it's this route. It's not. We're yeah. short. They waste time with UI. It's simple as that. There's nothing to understand. They made a decision to make a UI like that. It should be trader on the left, you on the right, drag and drop, bam 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 bam. You finish everything in a fucking second. But no, they wanna complicate, you know. But uh, this game by the way, it's the king of wasting your time. The fucking king of wasting time. On everything. On conversations, on trading, on inventory. On bloody everything. All you do is waste time. So if you ask the devs, they probably call it immersion. That's immersion. Wasting your time. Kevin, I'm good. How are you? How are you doing? Ujits was bigger. Where am I? I mean, it's not exactly small, too. Yeah. Who am I supposed to speak with? Illusions. Find out where the limping bandit lives. Man, I don't know who to ask. I to go from one to another NPC and ask about the bandit. With a limp, where is he? I'm looking for a fellow who lives here, but I don't know his name. Do you know anyone with a limp? That'll be Lubosh. A Lubosh. Gallows bait if I ever saw First him. NPC gives this info. This place is at the end of the village, next to the stream. Take him and welcome. Nice. Be right back. In 30 seconds.
We get hello. May the Lord watch over you. Visit Lobos. Let me guess, someone killed him. Olympi Lubos. Move along, citizens. Move along. There's nothing yeah, to see here. That's what you call nothing to see. I'd like to know what something to see looks like. By the keys of Saint Peter, this is all I need. We'll have to send word to Sir Hanush. That might not be necessary. Who are you? I'm Henry of Scalitz. Henry the Bold. The of Hanush's captain Bernard. I'm investigating the attack at Neuhof, and I think this could be related. Well, I'm the bailiff of Auschwitz. And I say we don't want any of that kind of trouble around here. What makes you think this has anything to do with Neuhof? One of the folk at the stud farm recognized someone from Auschwitz among the bandits. They have no bandits or murderers around here. Really? They say he had a limp? Shit. Well, allow me to introduce you to Limpy Lubosch. Or all that's left of him. Sakra. <sighs> Nothing's ever easy. I'll have to take a look around and ask a few more questions, if that's all right with you. You can take this mess off my hands and welcome to it. As for what else there is to find out, I don't know. But look and ask all you like. I ask it there now. All of them. Who was Limpy Lubos? Who was Limpy Lubos? A poor crafter and a scoundrel. Can't say I'm too surprised what happened to him. He kept company with all sorts of vermin. He was always getting into some kind of trouble. Punch-ups in the tavern and what have you. Why he limp? How come he limped? He got that from some villainy or brawl a long time ago. Has he been up to anything suspicious lately? Hmm. I don't know. The last few days he didn't go anywhere. He was home the whole time. But he always kept everyone in the village at arm's length. Did he have any kith or kin in the village? None. A loner he was. I don't know the last time I saw him with anyone. Do you happen to know where he was on the night of the Neuhof raid? I've no idea. He kept his distance from other folk. So you never knew if he was away or holed up at home. You're fucking useful. When did you find the body? And did anyone see anything? Just now. And nobody saw or heard anything. I don't know how they could gut him like that without someone hearing him scream. I don't know from where, from whom to start. 
good health to you. I've come in the name of Sir Hanush of Lipa. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? Of course. Ask away. That man Lubosch who was murdered, what was he like? He was a drunk who was always looking for a fight. Nobody liked him much, but... Not a single one. Like that on any Not a single one. Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? Well, now I think of it, I haven't seen him around for a while. No idea where he was skulking. Do you know what Lubosch was doing the day Neuhoff was raided? Not a clue. Do you know anyone Lubosch used to spend time with? Relatives or friends? He was a loner. He didn't even have any mates in the tavern. That's all. Thank you. Good health to you. I've come in the name of Sir Hanush of Life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. They all say the same thing now. That's all. Good luck to you. God be with you. I've come in the name. I don't know how I can help you. Who was this Lubosh? You could see at first glance he was no good. Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? There wasn't sight or sound of him for a long time. And then yesterday, he turned up at the church and even talked to the parish priest. I never saw him do that before. So we find the priest. Bad conscience. Do you know what Lubosch was doing the day Neuhoff was raided? I don't think he was home. I didn't see him all day. Do you know who Lubosch used to spend time with? As far as I know, he had nobody at all in this world. That's all. Good luck then. Jesus Christ. I've come in the name of Sir. Sir Hanush gives a job like that to a young fellow like you? That man Lubosch who was murdered. He was a strange one. Always drinking, bad tempered. Have you noticed anything suspicious? I didn't see much of him lately. Not even in the tavern. Everything's connected with the church. That's all. Good luck to you. Good day to you. I'm coming. I don't know nothing about him, but... Have you noticed anything well, Come to think of it, he was in church. Well, I was wondering same what thing. he was up to, to take to the faith all of a sudden. That's all. Take care now. Church it is. God. Oh. An inscription in blood. Pity I don't know how to read. Looks like they wanted to give someone a warning. But who? And a bandit who knows how to write isn't something you see every day. What's this? Looks like someone's hit him very hard on the head. Could they have bludgeoned him to death and then gutted him? That would explain why he didn't scream. Lord above, they did a hell of a job on him. Must have been agony. How come no one heard anything? There's only inscription here than doors. Hmm. Nothing here. Hmm. 
Nothing here. Hmm. Nothing here. unusual Let's check around the house. Can you seek? Good boy. Awesome. Find out more about my people bush. Talk to the priest. Oh, we can find out more than we talk to the priest. Find out from who. something here I'm honored I've come in the name of Sir Hanish of Lipa I don't know not that man Lubosh who was I didn't really know him do you know what Lubosh was doing I was coming from the tavern very late that night and I caught a glimpse of someone entering the village he looked like he was in a hurry it was only a shadow against the sky but after what happened I wouldn't wonder do you know anyone Lubosh? 
Not with anyone from the village. He used to sit in the tavern next to us sometimes. That's all. God be with you. I'm honored. I've come. I... That's all. Very well. God watch up. I've come in the name of... Ask away. Who was this Lubosh? He was a drunkard and a beast. And lazy, too. Have you noticed anything sus... The only thing seemed suspicious was how a rogue like him suddenly started going to church. Now oh, I see. Do you know what Lubosh was doing? What do I care about that scoundrel? I was... Do you know who Lubosh used to spend time with? He was always a loner. Except... That's all. Thank you. You all bloody say the same thing. <laughs> How much have you paid for a brush on electric toothbrush? Day to you. I'm coming. Sir Hanush gives a job like that to a young fellow. That man Lubosh, who. He was a strange one. Always drinking. Bad temper. Do you know what Lubosh was doing the day Neuhoff. I don't think he was home at all. Wait, please. Do you know anyone Lubosh used to spend time with? I really don't know. As far as I know, he had. That's all. Take care now. Someone's gotta know something. Jesus Christ. I've come in the name of Sah. I don't know. No. Do you know what Lubosh? I was coming from the tavern very late that night, and he looked like he was in a hurry. That's all. Is there anything suspicious going on in these parts? Indeed, there is. Just last night, Father Godwin was here, calling fire and brimstone down an old girl, the herb woman. He's not one to make a fuss over some trifle either. Oh, and another thing. Around here, <laughs> you should hear about what Vashek the groom has been up to at the stables. <laughs> when the head groom told the lads here, they fell off their seats laughing. <laughs> Hmm. 
Take care now. Let's pick with a priest. Father Goldman. Why am I not allowed to speak with him? Hello. Do you have any work with me? My dear lad, I have more worries than I can bear. Another pair of shoulders. I have to deal with a local wit. A witch? The herb woman. Old Gertrude, that devious hag who will stoop to anything, like all herbalists for that. Oh, don't tell me. The cows are giving blood instead of milk, and babies are being born with two heads and a tail. This is no laughing matter. Gertrude isn't evil. She just has peculiar ideas about what's good for people. A little bird told me she incited some Ujet's women to witchery. A little bird told you. You know how good people are at seeing the splinter in another's eye and not the beam in their own. In other words, someone's been gossiping. And what's the problem? As long as herb women stick to giving psychic to folk and bloated cows, assisting in childbirth, or burning incense in bedrooms to help with sleep, then nothing at all. But this, this is sacrilege, and it's unsafe. All sorts of molds and lichens and poisonous plants and other foul things go into those concoctions. I'd hate to see her poison some poor gullible lass. What do you want me to do? I want you to go and see her and find out what she's been up to. I know she lives in fear of the Holy Church, so tell her I sent you. That will make her talk and think twice about encouraging witch. If you learn that she truly did involve folk in some foolishness, find out all you can and... Consider it done. Good. And never fear. I'm a man who always pays his debts. You'll farewell. I pray the woods. Good day to you. Playing with a double quest. I see you know how to wield. I wouldn't have expected that from a man of the cloth. With a stick. I practice with a stick. A reminder of my youth and days gone by. And it helps keep me in good form. The blessings of our good Lord be with you, Father. I'm here in the name of Sahanish of Lyper, investigating the massacre at Neuhof, which seems to be connected to a murder here. Can I ask you a few questions? It seems Sir Hanush is employing children as investigators. But ask as you wish, boy. I hope this nasty business will be cleared up quickly. Did you know Lubosh? What was he like? A bit of a lost soul. Simple, rough fellow, but at heart I don't think he was such a bad person. Did you notice anything suspicious recently? My child, all sorts of suspicious things have been going on recently. People like Lubos don't know what to do about it, and sometimes they do stupid things. That's really not a lot of help to me, Father. I'm sorry to hear that. Do you know what Lubos was doing on the day Neuhoff was raided? Unfortunately, I do know. And I'd like to help you with your investigation, but I can't. What? I'm bound by certain vows that forbid me to tell you. Vows more important than catching dangerous murderers. There are laws of God above the laws of man, son. And one of those is the sanctity of the confession. Father, surely you can't be serious. There must be situations in which you can make an exception. There are things that apply always, no matter what the circumstances. And this is one of them. For heaven's sake, Father, can you really look me in the eye and tell me that, when you know you may be condemning innocent people to death? I can, because if I broke that vow, the consequences would be much worse than if I didn't. Maybe not immediately, but one day. The mills of God grind slowly. Father, Lubosch was my only lead to the Neuhof raiders. Only he could tell me who was responsible for that massacre. If I don't find out who it was, it will probably happen again. Surely you wouldn't want that. I wouldn't. But I can't betray the sanctity of the confessional. I'll tell you what. 
Give me some time and I'll try to think up some way of helping you. Suppose we talk it over in the evening, in the tavern, over a cup of good wine. Maybe we'll come up with something. All right. Thank you, Father. God be with you. First place in the tavern in the evening. So now I'm supposed to wait till the evening. And what about the quest he gave us? Is it close by? Playing with the devil. <clears throat> it's actually close by. I think the scribe can learn us to read in Ujet. Was it? I hope I can. I'd like to learn to read. I'd like to learn to read. You? Hmm. You don't look like the makings of a priest or clerk. But why not? I've taught all sorts. Bear in mind, it won't be all that easy. You'll need plenty of time and a few groschen for my trouble. All right. I don't want to waste time. We can get started. The sooner I master it, the better. Very well. I will require some groschen from you, though, and set aside at least a couple of days so I can put you through your paces, if indeed time is of the essence. I don't have enough. First, that is all the quests that I learned to read. I'll come in. Of course. That's all. What are in that order? Priest is the best character in here. What this bold priest I was just speaking with? Tripos love its forest. My humble greetings. How may I help you? Would you teach me some? Certainly. I'd like to practice the. All right. Isn't that quite a? First, the use a witch. Is this enough? You're a right. Agreed. Take. Nice. <clears throat> Can we go advanced or not? Huh. Would you teach me something? Certainly. I don't. I'm interested in. Wouldn't you rather? Well, may the Lord watch over you. Come from the beast. Come 
I come in the name of Sahanish of Lipo. Ask all you want. Who was this Lubosh who was murdered? Those that live by the sword die by the sword. I'm not surprised the end he came to. Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? Everything about him was suspicious. I always gave him a wide berth. Do you know what Lubosh was doing the day Noy? How would I know? Do you know who Lubosh used to spend? I don't know, since I don't. That's all. I've come from the priest. They're saying you incited some women to witchcraft. Me? Witchcraft? That's nothing but idle chatter. Right back in a second. The DLC of Dead Cells is only one map, and I've seen the map at the end of the stream yesterday with Dead Cells. 
And I started a new game with Dead Cells, hoping to have like at least 10 to 20 hours or so till I finish the game. I finished the game on a second run. I killed the final boss on my second run. First run was 35 minutes, and the run where I completed the game was around 58 minutes or so. Without upgrades, without leveling, without items. You'd be wise to give me a straight answer. I mean you no harm. As long as it's the truth you speak. Very well. I'll tell you everything. I've done a very foolish thing. It's preying on my mind so much I can't sleep a wink. But I'm supposed to believe an old witch has pangs of conscience. Laugh if you like, but it's not a word of a lie. You probably know I sell various magic lotions and potions alongside my herbs. Well, there's one I wish I hadn't sold. You see, Vera, Zlata, and Kuta from Ujets wanted a magic ointment from me. I kept refusing them, but in the end, I let them talk me into it. What kind of ointment was it? One that will show you a world no one else can see. A place of wonder and terror. The flowers might start talking to you, or the earth could swallow you up. I don't know if it's the work of the devil or of God himself, but the ointment has that power. But it could poison any person who doesn't know how to use it right. So all this talk of witches anointing themselves and then flying to their sabbaths on broomsticks. The ointment could make a person see such things. But it was stupid of me letting those foolish women get their hands on it. They could poison themselves or fall off a cliff while they're lost in a dream. Will you give me the ointment recipe? It contains belladonna in the herb Paris both quite poisonous plants. That ought to make you think twice about dabbling with it. So why did you give them the ointment at all? Because I'm soft-hearted. You see, one of those women, Vera, lost her whole family in Scarlitz. And Zlata's husband was killed. And the youngest of them, Kuta, miscarried with the horror of it all. They said they wanted to use the ointment to speak with the dead and ask them to put a word in with the Lord. Hmm. I understand how they feel. But I reckon it'll get them nowhere but the ducking stool and the stake. Judge not, lest ye be judged. I didn't want to give them the ointment, but they offered me a pile of groschen. So I thought how desperate they must be, and I heard their plea. Their plea, or the clink of their coin? And why are you so worried about them all of a sudden? What changed your mind? I'm losing sleep over it. Firstly, those women don't know what they're doing. And secondly, folk might see it as witchcraft. And do you know what they do to witches? They burn them alive. That they do. So don't be surprised I'm worried. It didn't bother you before, though. What did they want the ointment for? Each one of them lost a loved one recently, and it's grieving them. They wanted to talk with the dead. What kind of ointment was it? One that will show you a world no one else can see. A place of wonder and terror. I don't know if it's the work of the dead. So all this the ointment... <coughs> I want to know something else. I've heard enough. If you've heard enough, you must understand why I need your help. Find out from those women what they intend, and watch over them to keep them safe. Very well. But only because the priest himself asked me to. Thank you a thousandfold. I'll go to the reverend myself and may the Lord watch over you.
Bon, là, j'y sors. Là, c'est pareil, c'est box, box, box. J'ai l'air de box. Oui, il y a deux chickens. Je pense que 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 je pense You level the farm master, nice. Alchemy. I never used alchemy. What the fuck is this? Oil, mine, spirits, water, oil, steel, cold, and semblance. Pesto mortar. Yo, get the fuck out. I don't even want to use it. Bloody crazy. Now what? Spec with all three. Rovna, Skullets. Holy shit, I'm close to Skullets. Come on. Was the closest. In the middle. Yeah. Vera. Vera on Slavic language means fate. Her name is fate. I heard something about a magic ointment that you got from the herb. You heard that where? And what business is it of yours? The herb woman sent me. Gertrude? What does she want? Haven't we paid her enough? That's not the point. The ointment's dangerous, and the herb woman doesn't want you getting up to anything foolish. Thanks for the concern, but we're grown women. We're old enough to make our own choices, and what we do in the woods at night is no one's business but ours. the women to the woods. Specifically with women about the magical ointments. All the women to the woods. What the f fuck? You mean follow the women to the woods? the next one.
Heard something about what? Gertrude sent me. And what did she say? Is she no. She's worried about what you'll do with it. What I've heard already amounts to a burning offence. Wait. Really? If someone buys witching equipment, what am I supposed to think they want it for? Let me take a wild guess. Witchcraft. And witches deserve to burn. We're doing no wrong. We go to the woods alone, at night, and we hurt no one. Let's put all of these NPCs behind me, goddammit. You might twist it against us. The fuck do you want? No one is left. What do you think? It's not small at all. Yeah. Yeah. something from me do you do I God be with you goodbye it's what wake up I hate NPCs in the game, I fucking hate them. Come on! What the fuck? I've heard something about a magical ink. Really? I'd like to know where from. The herb woman said. Gertrude! What? It's not about the money. She's concerned about your. <laughs> it can't have got any more dangerous since she sold it to us. Tell her we're ever so... Huh. Follow the women to the woods. When? When? Bloody when? I have an urge to kill every NPC in the game. I swear to God, I have an urge to kill everyone that exists in this fucking game. Place in the hotel in the
over here. I'd like to work. I'm sorry I can't tell you everything, but maybe we can work something out. But first, I'd like to hear something about you, my son. With whom do I have the honor? Where are you from? That is where you write. I'm from Scalitz. Oh, I'm sorry. What about your kin? They're dead. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Here, we'll drink to them. It must have been terrible. It was terrible. It seemed so pointless. We had no warning. They just appeared and began the slaughter. God knows why. They killed anyone who didn't make it to the shelter of the castle. My parents, my girl. Even the Deutsch who was on Sigismund's side. I didn't make it to the castle. I wanted to try and help my parents, but there was nothing I could do. Then I fled to Talmberg with the Cumans on my heels. They almost killed me. They slaughtered people in the surrounding villages. There was a pile of bodies in front of a church in Rovno. Folk who tried to take refuge there, but they... they... My poor child. May God grant them eternal rest. And how did you come to get this assignment? I'd have expected Sir Hanish to send that old grouch, Bernard. My pleasure. You think I'm too young for the job, Father? My I do, to tell the truth. Well, I can only apologize for my lack of gray hair and gout. Now the most important thing. What the actually happened in Noyle? The good folks here about are saying all kinds of terrible things. But I take most of it with a pinch of salt. The rumors aren't exaggerated this time, unfortunately. The Neuhof stud farm was raided by bandits, but they didn't come to pillage or even take the horses. They only wanted to kill. They maimed the horses and slaughtered some people. I'm sure they would have killed more, but the bandits quarreled among themselves and broke off the attack. And judging by what's left of our Lubosch, they're still settling accounts. I see it's every bit as bad as people claimed. Dreadful. Well then, Here's to those poor souls who had to die so pointlessly and so terribly. I've told you all about me. Now it's your turn, Father. You don't look much like our parish priest at home. I noticed you're pretty handy with a sword. I wouldn't expect that of a man of the cloth. You know what they say. The Lord moves in mysterious ways. But this is a bit more mysterious than others. Let's just say I haven't always been a priest. Fate led me to places where affairs were settled by force. These days, of course, it's just a bit of exercise to keep me in shape. I'll have a beer. Well, we've had an agreeable chat, but now let's get down to business. So, about this confessional seal. Do you really want more innocent people to die? Henry, that's not how it works. There are matters in which you can't make exceptions, because if you do it once, you'll forever be tempted to do it again. If people stop believing in the church because their confessional secrets are betrayed, they won't trust anyone, and that's worse than even the most hideous crime. Coming. I understand, but that means I've reached a dead end. Those cutthroats will strike again, and I can't stop them. Chin up, lad. Coming I might have a solution. What? If I tell you what Lubos told me, I'd be betraying the confessional secret. But, first thing tomorrow, I'll try something I think might help you. Word of honor? On my soul. Then you say, like, I always wondered about the you'll tell me in the evening, now you say you're gonna tell me in the morning. Where do you get the ideas for your sermons? Well, Ujits is in Prague. It's not enough to instruct people. They have to be entertained, too. If I only read from the Bible, I'd soon be preaching to an empty church. Our priest wasn't exactly a bard. So what do you preach to your flock about? It has to be something top. Condemning vices. And of course, describing them in detail. A tongue lashing about the two popes goes down well these days. 
and stories from real life with a nice moral to them are popular as well. Especially if they're about fornication and similar scandalous vices. Can you give me an example? Well, recently a priest by the name of Jan Hus started preaching in Prague in the Czech language, and the people liked it. I hear he always has a full house. A journeyman who heard him told me what Hus is preaching, and I like the sound of it. I'm thinking about putting it in my own repertoire. What's so amazing about it? The preaching of Master Jan Hus about Mother Church. The <laughs> lamentable wealth in which the church is drowning has turned to poison. And nearly the whole of Christendom is contaminated. Just like a flock of hungry ravens, they settled on this land to devour every grain of gold and silver. <coughs> they know no mercy. Their hearts are corrupted by longing for wealth. And they shamelessly profit from everything. You want to baptize a child? Pay. You want to steal and murder? Pay and you will have absolution. What if the devil himself were to pay? Would he ascend to heaven too? With such money gained from the poor, they buy beautiful horses to ride and needless servants to pamper them. They gamble at dice and dress their whores in expensive fur. While Jesus Christ walked barefoot and had no place to lay his head. Look to your consciences, you robbers of the poor, for you are seen by God and his people too. Amen. Well, this Jan Hu's character is quite a rebel. Oh, the congregation will love it. I don't doubt it. Let's drink to that. Funny. That last bit reminds me of someone. What do you mean? My situation's completely different. Hooth preaches against the prelates and the clerics who are robbing the poor. Look at me. I don't have a pot to piss in. I'm no better off than the folk I preach to. I'm one with them in poverty and suffering and everything that troubles them. I drink with them and curse those stuffed habits in Sasal Monastery. Don't you think it's a bit odd when someone boozes and lives in sin with a woman and then criticizes the Pope for, be for debauchery? No, I don't. What do you think of this Jan Hus? He's certainly a wise man. A little overzealous for my taste. If he got out of Prague and came here for a look, I'm sure he'd stop condemning drinking and lying with women. Where can I find out more about his teachings? You like it? I copied down some of his sermons. If you're interested, you can read them at my presbytery. What do the common folk think of it? They like it. They're happy to hear someone say what they think themselves, but are afraid to say aloud. Things that make them angry. And they're calling for change. In a few years, it'll have grown beyond control. You mark my words, the people will rise up and the church will be shaken to its very foundations. Yeah, unless they burn him at the stake first. <laughs> Nonsense. They can't burn a master of the most respected university in Europe. Thanks for the sermon, but I think I've been morally uplifted enough. Oh, it's getting quite late. What are your plans, Father? What do you suppose? We have a drink, of course. Ah, that sounds like a good plan. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Pull me an ale. You low and drinking. I 
enough of this. <laughs> Bailiff, come on over here. Sit down and have a drink with us. Don't vex me again, Father. It's three hours past dusk, and curfew is long gone. So what? So, I'll have you all whipped and put in the stocks, and I'll write a letter to the bishop about you, priest. Well, nothing to worry about then. Everyone knows the only one around here who can write is me. <laughs> Enough! Men, throw them out. You looking for a fight? Henry, back me up. Why do we always have to do this shit drunk? I wonder what Teresa's doing now. I could stop by his ear and... Man, are you shitting me? Here we are. Look at this beauty. Oh. We can't do this, can we? Who says? Get ringing, wench. <laughs> Get ringing, wench.
bad wind, you beast. Get up. Do you hear me? Wake up, you drunkards. Oh, fuck it out. Oh, where the... Oh, what the... Oh, who the hell are you? <laughs> oh, Henry. My great friend, Henry. And we have a wonderful time. Well, you oh. certainly did, you old lecher. Now you better pull yourself together quick. You haven't much time. There's some water and something to eat on the table there, but if I were you, I would move my hairy arse before my flock eats me alive. Oh, stay on in my head. Oh, my guts. My poor suffering stomach. What was that woman on about? Before my flock eats me alive. I've forgotten something. What have I forgotten? Where the fuck am I? What the fuck was it? Mass! Oh shit, I have to say mass. I gotta say mass. You have to help me. How? You're the priest. I can't do it in this state. Maybe the liturgy. But I have to give a sermon as well. Oh, this is a disaster. They're gonna excommunicate me. I'd like to help you, but you can. You can do the sermon for me. What? So, first I investigate a murder no one wants investigated. Then I drunkenly keep the whole town up all night. And now you want me to preach at them from the pulpit? Do you want them to burn us at the stake? No. No, I've got it. Suppose a Sir Ratzig's protege. You just came from studying in Prague. And you want to share the words of Master Jan Hus, who you recently heard preaching there. Henry, look. From what I remember, we might have overdone it a bit last night. And if the bailiff or someone else complains about me, the bishops can have my guts for garters. So I'd appreciate it. Stop gaping at me like a stuffed squirrel and start helping. You're mad. You're stark raving mad. I'm not. It's a perfect plan. It's flawless. <coughs> oh. How about this? If you help me with this, I'll tell you who Lubosha's cronies are. <laughs> the confessional seal isn't sacred anymore. So all at once the confessional seal isn't so sacred? Don't mock me. I won't give you a second chance. <sighs> well, all right. But I can't make any promises about what will happen. No, neither can I. What do you want me to do, exactly? I'll go and start the liturgy. Then I'll introduce you. You give the sermon I told you yesterday in the tavern, and that's that. No need to drag it out. If it turns out well, I'll tell you what I know about Lubos. Christ almighty. Fine then. We have a deal. Wonderful. Let's get to it then. If I can remember that shit. <clears throat> Fuck I'm undressed every fucking time when something stupid happens. Still drunk. Yeah. It's bloody worse than me. Sermon in a church instead of father. Papers last night. You were with them, you beast. Just you 
Look at him. Mother of God. Any minute now, he'll throw up. <laughs> so I couldn't sleep a wink last night with all that clamor. In nomine Patris, et Fili, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Accepit Panem, in Sanctas, at Venerabiles, a Manus Suas. <clears throat> Hoc facite in meam commemorationem. Brothers and sisters, you may have had the honor of meeting Henry from Scalitz, who is here at the behest of Sir Hanush to investigate that heinous crime at Neuhof. You might not know that Henry recently visited Prague, where, by the grace of God, was able to hear Master Jan Hus from the esteemed Charles University preaching. I've managed to persuade Henry to stand here today in my stead and tell us what he heard. Because, as you all probably know, Jan Hus is a very popular preacher in Prague. So, Henry, you may begin. Now I'm curious. I'm curious which one of them will puke first. <laughs> begin the sermon confidentially. Start the lengthy. The modest confidence. Brothers and sisters, let me go straight to the point. I'd like to talk about the church and how corrupt it is. That boy has a cheek. Just as we are commanded to obey the priests in matters of virtue, so are we commanded to defy them face to face if they live contrary to God's commandments. Hear that, Godwin? It is the corruption of God's pastors here on earth that has brought misfortune on our heads. Uh, plague, humans, hunger, and, and, and chaos. The accursed wealth that the church is drowning in is poisoning almost the whole of Christendom. When dogs are fighting over a bone, take the bone and they will stop. Just like the flock of ravens that has descended on this land to peck up every speck of gold and silver, they show no mercy. Their hearts are poisoned by covetousness. They trade everything. Everything is for sale. You want to baptize a child? Pay. You want to steal and murder? Pay and you will have absolution. And the prelates sin and give themselves absolution. For shame! Shame upon them! It is the custom of the gluttonous prelates and monks to preach against sin. But what do they know of us ordinary folk? Let us remember the marriage at Cana, where our Lord Jesus Christ himself feasted with the other guests and drank his fill. And when the wine was gone, he performed a miracle and created more. He, whose companions were poor travellers, simple folk, prostitutes and troublemakers, performed a miracle so the feast could continue. Now that's the kind of sermon I like to hear. No, brothers and sisters. Jesus did not condemn alcohol. Drink to lighten the cross you bear in this veil of tears, but not with such abandon that you cannot keep holy the Sabbath. For there should be moderation in all things, and it is not drinking itself that is sinful, but intemperance and beastly indulgence. He's right! Enough about sin, which the prelates are so fond of preaching about, and whose absolution they promise if you only pay enough coin to Mother Church. What if the devil himself were to pay? 
Will the bishops tell us he too would ascend to heaven? And what about those bishops? They sin without remorse, and with the money grasped from the poor for indulgences, they keep fine horses and hordes of servants to pamper them. They play dice and garb their mistresses in expensive furs, while Christ, the Lamb of God, walked barefoot and had nowhere to lay his head. Look to your consciences, you robbers of the poor, for you are seen by God and his people too. Down with the prelates. Away with them. We're fortunate to have our good father Godwin. At least he's a fair and simple man. God sees what is happening on earth, and he is filled with righteous wrath that those who should seek the salvation of souls instead seek mammon and the idle comfort of lucrative posts. Blessed are the shepherds who share the poverty of their flock, who are as one with you and bear with you the burden of this earthly pilgrimage, who do not condemn your venial sins. I all honour to Godwin. Let him drink like one of us. That is all I heard in Prague. Amen. So far, since I started the game, if we exclude the opening that was very strong, this is the best part in the game. Everything else was a chore. The lad spoke well, considering what a soak he is. He's right, Dallas. A young man shouldn't drink so much, but the Lord's given him a I'm silver glad he tongue. came here. No suppose I'll ever get to Prague. Told it nicely. Well, well, my boy, you have talent, and I can't deny it. <laughs> and you pulled a thorn from my side. I almost didn't make it. Yeah, I noticed. Well, I wasn't the only one. Well, what's to be done? I'll make it up somehow. So, about our bargain. Although it's a sin. Self-gluttony <laughs> and fornication. God does forgive a penitent. So, what did Limpy Lubosch tell you? Was he at Neuhof that day? Who was with him? And, and, and where are they now? Now slow down. I'm sorry, but he didn't tell me that much. Don't let me down after all I've been through. For you? Well, now Lubosch came to me shortly after it happened. And his conscience was gnawing at him. And I must say... Uh, in the end, he turned out to be a better man than he looked. He said they'd been hired through some crony of theirs. And at first, they were just to steal some horses. But then it all turned sour and people started getting killed. And neither he nor his cronies wanted anything to do with that. So they fell out from the gang and fled. Fell out? Yeah, there was a body found in the woods by Neuhoff. <clears throat> That would explain something. Uh, Lubosch kept jabbering that he wasn't a murderer, that he didn't want to do it. So I know that Lubosch killed the murderer and he's dead too. The trouble is, I need to find the ones who are still alive. I need names and places. Did he mention any of the others? Uh, only nicknames. Uh, talked about some fella called Riki from Ledechko. Pius, Timmy. Pius. <laughs> That lot are about as pious as I am ordained. Nonsense. You would make an excellent priest. And anyhow, with your skills, you ought to be able to sniff out this Riki from Ledechko, right? <laughs> well, we'll have to now. There's not much else to go on. Let's hope he's not hanging from the wall, too. <sighs> Indeed. And I'd hate to be excommunicated for nothing. Anyhow, good luck. You watch out for yourself. These people clearly mean business. And I'd like to raise a tankard with you again sometime. Yeah, I'll try. Although I'm not sure I'd survive another night of your debauchery. And if anyone should ask, you heard nothing from me. I'll deny everything. <laughs> I don't doubt it. Yeah, definitely the best part in the game was this previous 20 minutes. Even better than the opening. Funnier. Way much funnier. Opening is tragic. The shit was hilarious. Quest started on the sand. Track down Rick. Are you fucking shitting me? No. 
I'm not time limited with a quest. Don't tell me I'm time limited, please. Scribe, but in the scribe. Behind. What is wrong with me? What are these effects? Drunkness. Fucking around. We'll learn to these. How much it costs. To... I've saved some coin. Certainly. That was 50. Let's get started. He did break his vow. But better than to dishonor it here. May he grow. 